Hello everybody, Greg here, making a video to show you guys just how I did learn 40 songs in about a year after hardly playing for about 30 years. And I know we've all been in a situation where, you know, we get the guitar out every once in a while, we play the same four or five songs, we kind of come to a stopping point, and then we put the guitar back away, Okay. We've all been there. I know we have. And here's how I got past that. I learned 40 songs in about a year after hardly playing for 30 years. I did it in four easy steps. Four easy steps. Step number one, hang up a chord chart. You can buy it online. You can buy them in music stores. This is a chord chart poster. It's nice and big. I can see everything while I'm practicing. That's step number one. Step number two, you need lyrics and you need the chords. Okay, so you go to a website and you copy and paste the lyrics and the chords on some type of, whether it's Google Drive, Google Docs, or some sort of a Microsoft Word, but you, you copy and paste it over to one of those documents, pages, a blank page. Okay, that's step number two. Now, step number three is you get a three-hole puncher and a three-ring binder, and you, three, and you print off... You boil the song down, you try to fit everything on one page, okay? You get the you get rid of the extra choruses and you know all the all the little fluff toward the end of the song and you boil it down to one page with the lyrics and chords. And then you've got the uh, the chorus here. I'm gonna point where the chorus is, you indent it to the right by hitting tab one time. Right there. So your eyeballs go right to it after each verse, okay? After each verse, you can go right back to the chorus. So there, by the time you've got that done and those three steps done, you've got everything right here, you pretty much have a real good idea how to play the song because you've got, the, the, you've got everything right here in front of you. And you, the reason I have you three hole punch both sides is because you can, rearrange, you can rearrange your songs to fit your show, whether it's a show for you or a show for people, other people. All right, step number four. You've got everything together. You've got your guitar on. You, got your, you have the ability to listen to your music while you play your guitar, while you play along with your book. You've got your words. You've got your chords. And you, you can refer to this anytime you get stuck on a chord, okay? Because basically all these are just a bunch of uh, alphabetically ordered pictures from the nut down, usually four or five frets little pictures right there and it'll tell you what a in, you know in this situation I might forget what a what a B minor is well it's alphabetic I go up here to my chord poster and I go there's A B and here's a variation of the B and I, over here to the B minor okay there it is there's a B minor it's not rocket science okay so you and you can make corrections here's the thing about it you've got if you find out that you've got this song and there's a bunch of typos and there's a bunch of things that you didn't realize were wrong well, you can trash that page or make markings on it. Go over to your computer with that piece of paper, pull up your Google Docs, pull up that copy of that song on the computer, and make your typo corrections. Okay? It's really not that hard. Print off a new page, three-hole punch it on both edges, put the new one in the book, get rid of the old page. Okay? Remember, folks... Music is a science. It's also an art. But music is a science, but it's not rocket science. And the art is what you bring to the performance. Your personality, the little inflections in your voice, the little inflections when you do your little solos or whatever. Anyway, I enjoyed doing this for you. I hope you got something out of it. I hope this gets you past the point where you're playing the same four or five songs every time you pull out that guitar. Anyway, here you go. Uh, have a good day, and I'll see you all around. See ya.